Welcome, this is where nerds come to learn things. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it. Right, what's in here? A toll courier bag, so it's probably element 14. Hmm. Get the invoice out of the way. We have some more solder. This is SN62 5C 0.56 mil. So I have purchased some 0.4, was it 0.46, which is really fine, and this is 0.56, slightly thicker. The reason being, this is cheaper than the 0.46, and so well, I that I haven't normally used folder this fine. I've always used slightly thicker. So I think normally this is like the thinnest I'd normally use. It's about 0.8. That's not a good solder actually, it's not, I'm not particularly happy to solder it, it works okay but it's not wonderful, it doesn't work as well as multi core. Anyways I've got to start thicker stuff, this is cheaper again, these are both from element 14 and the reason being is that this is leaded solder and RS components won't sell it to me, as you would have seen in the videos previously, my little rant about that. So yeah, um, this has actually come from the UK as well, funny that isn't it, and that's what you're looking for if you want it. I think that's the internal code. Let's see what's in here. Well, I'm glad these arrived. Now, these are just some little screws. I do quite like these little boxes that these things come in because they're, you know, they're, they're quite nice little boxes. They're good. They're quite commonly get, uh, supplied as well. well. I don't like the sticker that's on there. That's a bit annoying. Kind of box the view. Anyway, so there's a bunch of little screws here. Ignore the sticker on the front. Yeah, we'll look at the back. So we've got two mil by three, two mil by four, two mil by five, by six, by eight, uh, ten, twelve, and then two point five by four, by five, by six, by eight, by ten, by twelve, and three mil by five, and by eight. So it's a nice little small set and these all countersunk screws which a little bit more unusual but handy handy to have I actually marked these as, as already arrived um, about I don't know probably three weeks or so ago now because I mixed them up with something else I put I pushed a few different sets of screws and I accidentally marked this one as arrived and it hadn't arrived yet so I'm relieved to see it's actually turned up because I've already said I've received it <laughs> So, yay. Alright, let's see what's in here. And this is what I think it is. Officially, it hasn't arrived yet. Let's just get this out of the way. It is what I think it is. I'm not sure about the packaging side of things anyway. So that's pretty stiff, it's probably alright. So this is a one terabyte SSD. Now the reason I've got this is that I have the MacBook which I've recently picked up, which needs fixing, but it uses this kind of drive. So I thought, well, I'm gonna put a drive in it, I was put a decent one in. And this particular computer, if I fix it, I'll be I'll be keeping it. It's a OWC Mercury. Aura, is it? A U R A? I don't know how you pronounce it, Aura. Aura Pro R M B P 2012 6G. So it's for the 2012 models. It's like a special kind of um, card, so it's a little bit different to the others. It's not all the same, apparently. I, there's some kind of difference in them, I'm quite sure what it is. I've not had experience with this particular model MacBook before, so this is a new thing for me as well. First, I've used one of these particular drives, I've never seen one before, so. It's all new to me, even though I've been around for a while. I, I tend to um, lag behind in those kinds of things. So at least now I've got a drive to put in it. Assuming, of course, I can fix it. If anyway, I don't fix it, I'll use this drive one day, I'm sure. That's why I'm not too worried about buying it, because it's going to get used eventually. 
Maybe not on this computer, maybe I'll buy another one if I can't fix this one, but the fault on this computer seems to be fairly straightforward, so we might even do it today, and I'll do the video on the live stream. If you're a mailbag video, I'm doing a live stream right now, and I'm recording the mailbag as I'm doing the live stream, so I'm also live streaming the video for me doing the mailbag, if you understand that. I'm not sure I do. Alright, let's see what's in here. Now, my guess, right, I, well, I think I already know what's in here. I'm going to have a prediction before I even open this box up. My prediction is that the items inside the box are on the bottom with absolutely no protection, and there's a whole bunch of air, air bubble things on top of them. So they're not wrapped around, it's got the items in the bottom and the bubble wrap stuff on the top. Well, not bubble wrap, it's like those air bag things. All right, that's my prediction. Let's see if I'm right. Air bags on the top. So far, so correct. And items sitting on the bottom. <laughs> so predictable. Anyway, it's not like these are going to get damaged anyway, but it's just there's been times when I've sent hard drives like that. Like it's in physical hard drives, spinning platter hard drives. Yeah. Anyway, now these are just Lexar NS100. 240GB SSDs, alright, so fairly small SSDs, but you know, not too bad, they're still perfectly usable sizes. Um, I've got these for doing MacBook repairs, if I'm going to sell a MacBook, I'll chuck a drive in, SSD, I'm going to put a hard drive in there, put an SSD in, make them faster, and, you know, just better. But these are really cheap, these are about $44 New Zealand, which equates to, what's that, about $30 US, something like that, thereabouts. And I can get a 120 gigabyte drive for like four dollars less, so I would pay four dollars more or five dollars more, something like New Zealand. Um, it get twice the capacity. So these are a new thing. These haven't been out that long. I think at least not available to me. It's, I've only just seen this particular model, this particular capacity available in that price bracket. So I thought I'd get some of these. But previously, I've been getting uh, some crucial ones. Isn't it crucial. I can't remember. Now. I think they're crucial ones, but some other ones anyway, which are also cheap. But they're only 120 gig, which is alright most of the time. But uh, I thought, well, I'll get some slightly larger ones. But I thought I'd actually bought one 240 gig and a 120 gig another one. I thought that's what I bought. Maybe I didn't. I can't remember now. Anyway, so I don't have an immediate use for these, but I will be using them at some point soon. When I'm, when I'm, as I'm fixing MacBooks, I'll put these things in them. They're cheap. Alright, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, that sort of stuff, and... Uh, Share the video. You know, sharing the video helps my channel quite a bit because it exposes the channel to more people. Catch you later. So thank you very much to my Patreon supporters. Um, much appreciated. If you're interested in supporting me to help me buy items for mailbag or projects to work on, you know, bits of test equipment to repair, that kind of thing. Any money goes goes towards that is helpful because it is expensive buying test equipment to do repairs on, especially if I'm not actually going to be using it that much or it's something I could do without. Or, you know, as in most cases, you can do without things. So having a Patreon supporters and people that donate to me via PayPal is, is very helpful. So if you're interested in helping support me and, um, you know, contribute to the channel, um, then please check out my Patreon page, my PayPal donation options, which are down in the description down there. Click on the Show More tab, this is down there. So um, thank you very much for not supporting me. I enjoy making videos, enjoy showing what I'm playing around with. It was just originally I was going to video bits of what I'm doing at the time, I was, you know, if I'm working on something, I'll do a video of that and slap it up, which was going to be rather random and erratic. And I've ended up basically turning my life into doing YouTube videos and buying things and trying to create content to keep you guys entertained. Yeah, if you want to support me, that's great. Um, of course, that certainly be appreciated because this is an expensive hobby. Catch you later. Thanks for watching. Click the bell icon. Bye.